Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a little helper today. I'm going to be filming a look using these two new products from Anastasia. Um, the first one is an eye palette. It's called the Modern Renaissance Palette. And as soon as I saw this, I knew that it was like right up my alley. It's tons of like pinks. Um, it's kind of on the warm side, but it still has like some nice cool tones in it. And it has like my favorite eyeshadow of all time, which I've been talking about in like every video. And that's Buon Fresco. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, but anyway, it's like a gorgeous mobby cool tone crease color for me. I love it. And then of course like a ton of other pinks and some like oranges and burnt like browns and stuff like that. Um, the only thing I wish that this palette had that I think it's lacking is more lid shades. Like really the only lid shade um, that I prefer is this Primavera shade right here which is like a goldish shade. And then I normally use Vermeer for like the um, brow bone and inner corner. Um, but I mean, you can pull in other shades obviously from other palettes or singles or something like that. Um, just for travel purposes, I wish I had one or two more lid shades that um, I'm more into like a champagne color. And then I also have the new glow kit in the shade Sun Dipped. And I'm really excited to use this. I only used this once so far in my little highlighter challenge video. And I used like the darker two shades. So I want to, you know, kind of use the actual highlight shades today. And then um, these two shades, I feel like this one will be okay if I get a little tanner. And it's like kind of the reason I bought this palette because I don't have any highlighters in this shade. And I think it's really unique. And then bronze, I'll never be able to wear that as a highlighter. And obviously it's way too shimmery to be a bronzer. So I feel like this would be a gorgeous um, eyeshadow for someone of my skin tone. So I went ahead and primed my face already and filled in my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover up some of my pimples with a green concealer. And this is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. I'm just gonna get my hair out of my face first. And I look like I'm in fifth grade. Thank you for the help, Sam. Thank you. Sorry if I'm at a weird angle. Um, I had to put my mirror like the whole way over here because my cat's like right here. <laughs> but she's helping, so it's okay. For foundation, I'm going to mix two foundations and I'm going to use the Too Faced Born this way. Mine is in the shade Snow and then I also have the One Heck of a Blot from Soap and Glory. And the shade I have is Fair Enough. It's like the lightest shade. And I actually discovered this combination from watching um, Nicole on Young, Wild and Polished, who's actually a Pennsylvania girl, so love her channel. And I tried this once before. And I like these foundations separately, like they're okay. Um, this one I really enjoy because you don't need a lot of it. Like most foundations I use like four pumps of and this one I literally need like one, maybe one and a half pumps to cover my whole face. Like I've never had a foundation that I can use too much of and this one if I use too much like it looks crazy. So I really love that about this and then also this is like the only foundation I've ever found that doesn't like settle into my fine lines around my mouth which is awesome because that always happens to me with foundation. And then this one, I tried it by itself um, when I first got it. I only had this one for like a week or two, but it says all day liquid to powder and it no shit is liquid to powder. So whenever I put my foundation on, I normally like dot it all around my face first. And you cannot do this, do that with this one if you're using it on its own because it will like immediately start setting. Like even if you put it on the back of your hand first, it's gonna start setting because it like turns to powder. So what I do for these two, I mix them together on the back of my hand and then I dip in with my beauty blender first and then blend it out of my face so it doesn't start setting or anything like that. And I think this combo is just awesome if you have like kind of more oily skin. Now before I go in with concealer, I'm going to do a little correcting under my eyes and I'm just going to use the MAC Preppin Prime Pen in Radiant Rose. Now 
Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So for using concealer over this foundation, um, I only do like the spot that I'm working on it like one time um, because it'll start to like set on top of that foundation as well. I'm going to be setting my lids with the tempura shade right here and I'm just going to be using the brush that the palette comes with. I'm going to bake under my eyes to set them using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Loose Powder. I'm going to go ahead and start working on my eyes now. I'm going to start out with the shade Warm Taupe in the crease. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Real Gur right here. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the crease as well. Moving on, I'm going to take Antique Bronze and put that in my outer corner. I'm going to use Primavera all over the lid. I've really been into applying my lid color with just my finger lately. Like I used to be all about, you need a brush for everything, but I feel like to get the most intensity out of like a shimmery color, like your fingers work better than anything. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner brow bone using Vermeer right here. Now before I finish the eyes, I want to quickly do the rest of my face and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea and I'm going to be using a MAC 125 brush. Now I'm going to contour using my Marc Jacobs Dream Filter Palette. For blush, I'm going to be using one of the Lorac Color Source blushes, and this is in the shade Spectra. And to highlight, I'm going to be taking Moonstone from the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Highlight Brush.
And then just for fun, I'm going to take the shade Summer, which is a little bit lighter, and just go over um, all the highlight areas. Alright, so now that the face is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my winged liner and pop on lashes off camera, and then we can go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking burnt orange and smoking that on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller pencil brush in the shade Red Ochre and smoking that out as well. I'm going to be taking this bigger brush one more time, just to go over them. Now to brighten up the eyes, I'm going to take a nude pencil on the waterline. Now I'm going to do a quick coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Lip Kit and Candy K. So I'm going to take just a little bit of Coco K in the center. Now I'm going to set my face. Alright guys, so that's it for this look using the new products um, from Anastasia for summer 2016. Um, first I'll talk about the glow kit. I really liked it. The shades are really nice. Um, summer is a little bit more intense than Moonstone, but I think they're both beautiful. They're definitely a different formula from like the original highlights and these aren't as intense as I thought they're going to be, but I mean, they're still gorgeous. They still make wonderful highlights. They're not too glittery or anything like that. So love this glow kit. And then also the Modern Renaissance palette. I love this so much. I love all the colors in it. And I really mainly purchased this um, for like traveling and stuff like that because I feel like these are a lot of colors that I take with me when I travel in like a Z palette or something. So I think this is going to be really nice just to make like a simple look for every day. And I just, I love pink tones and it's so gorgeous. So definitely recommend the Anastasia Summer 2016 collection if you guys haven't tried it. Um, go swatch them. I know this palette, the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow palette is permanent, and then the glow kit, I'm like 99% sure is limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, get your hands on it now. Um, not sure when they're going to be available in stores or anything. I bought mine from the Anastasia website. So um, definitely love both things, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this look, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon.